Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aziz Drives. Today we have one of my most favorite cars of them all. The Porsche 911 991.1 in its absolute base form. The Carrera 4, the entrance Porsche with an all-wheel drive. Which means we have 25% at the front axle of all-wheel drive and 80% at the back, 75 to 80%. So, why do I say this is one of my most favorite cars of them all? Because we have a flat six engine, naturally aspirated. It's the last naturally aspirated 911. Okay, I'm not talking about the GT3, I'm talking about the 911. It has a 3.4 liter displacement, 350 horsepower, 390 newton meters of torque, and it sounds absolutely beautiful. I love how it reaches its potential above 5,000 RPMs and especially how it sounds. So we are now in a in normal mode, nothing has been changed, the valves are open. We're going to sport and I shall demonstrate to you what the base 911 can do. 4.6 seconds to 100, very simple, left foot on the brake, right foot on the throttle. <laughs> and the the most beautiful thing about Porsches is they are so brilliantly made. You can do this over and over. ESP off. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, the best driver's experience ever, period. It doesn't get better than a 911. Listen to that build up. And it goes around corners. It is so beautiful to drive, man. Nothing can compete with the experience you get when driving a 911. It's impossible. It's impossible to compete with it. It sounds so beautiful. You feel so safe driving it. Ah, oh, that beautiful steering wheel touch. Everything works, listens to what you want. Nothing can compete with a fucking 911. It's insane. And this is just the basic one. Oh, baby, come on. That's why I said in the video, once you get a 911, it's over. Nothing can compete with it, nothing. This one is the PDK one. You can tell that because I have to push the button to put it into a higher gear and I have to pull it to get a gear lower. I would prefer the PDK two because the pedals are separate. Left is a downshift and right is an upshift. Also on the gear knob, pressing means gear up, pulling means gear down. Very logical, but still I would prefer it if I have to pull to get a gear up. Oh, beautiful outside of this corner. Oh, it's just fantastic. The behavior, the sound, when you press on the throttle, how it pulls you out of the corner. It's just nothing can compete with it. I mean, I'm enjoying this drive so much. Wow, come on. Step on the throttle a little, out of the corner and again. Ah, this is just brilliant. It is just brilliant. I shall now just shut the fuck up. Listen to that. Oh. 
you have seen what happens when you release the throttle on a 911 where the engine is at the back on a on a, a little bit of a yeah wet road it spins around just press the throttle pulls you out because it's an all-wheel drive car fantastic <laughs> very lightweight very beautiful to drive very beautiful to experience and as soon as you step on the throttle yeah <laughs> your best friend in a car the 911 let's have a look at the exterior we are standing next to one of the best driver's cars and a future classic, the Porsche 911. And as always, a beautiful sight to the eye. This one is actually the last base 911 that will have a naturally aspirated flat six engine. All of the later models are turbocharged. And this is actually the one you should get. Every single one of the 901 generation, point one, is just perfect for a collectible car in the future. Naturally aspirated, no OPF, beautiful sound, beautiful looks. And this brilliant Porsche 911 front headlights and silhouette on the side is just magnificent. Every time I see one of those, I really, really glow up because I always think this is such a nice car. Of course, very nicely made, wide hips at the back. I just, I, I'm just in love with a Porsche 911 and I think it's the best car that has ever been produced. In my opinion, four exhaust pipes, engine sits right here. This is the 3.4 liter base model, the same engine that you would get in a Boxster GTS or a Cayman GTS, for example. So very, very nice. And yeah, I mean, typical Porsche 911, just a wonderful sight. I'm holding the key to one of the best driver's cars that have ever been produced and it's actual, like the car itself, a beautiful shape. So put the key in, turn and the lights go on. Everything starts to become oriented towards you to drive it. So what I like about the 911 from the outside and from the inside actually is the simplicity. Everything is just so beautifully made and precision work that lasts for decades. Physical buttons, of course, very nicely made. Everything works, everything works. The car is now 10 years old and everything is just perfectly fine. Precision work on the stitchings. Cup holders expand from the side, like here, very nice. We have a basic touch screen in the middle, works also fine. Of course, not the best resolution, but it works. Steering wheel, leather, of course. Armrest here, leather, gear knob leather. Also the armrest down here, leather. On the side, door panel, leather, everything just very nicely made. And this is the black edition, which means we have the combination from the outside, black with the black inside and black stitchings, Alcantara roof, very nicely made. And there's really nothing to complain about a beautiful car like this. Everything works fine. Everything is simple and effective. Speedometer in the front, of course, the RPM gauge to, for you to know in which gear you're in, how fast you're driving. Very simple, very effective. And that's what I love about the 911. So if you want to find out more about cars like this, make sure to follow us. We have an Instagram channel, we have a TikTok channel, and we're pretty successful there. So thank you for watching. Have a great one. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.